Hi guys, today we are talking about how we can share the gospel with our friends. Um, obviously, um, talking to our friends about who Jesus is and how much we love him and what he has done to restore our relationship with Jesus should be a part of um, our lives. And so while that can be a thing that's kind of scary or um, maybe makes us uncomfortable, we want to provide you guys with ways that you can do this um, without it being a scary thing. So today we're going to talk about um, the wordless bracelet. So if you notice, I've got a bracelet right here on my wrist. And so we're going to talk through how we could bring that bracelet up in conversation. And then we're going to talk through what the bracelet means. So first of all, um, an easy way to bring up the conversation, bring up your bracelet in conversation is um, wear it. If you're not real super comfortable with wanting to wear your bracelet, then you could tie it on your backpack or you could um, put it on the zipper of your coat. I mean, there's lots of options. Basically, the idea is you want it to be visible for people to see, right? So let's say you're out with your friends at school and you've got it on your backpack or you have it on your wrist. Um, you might say, hey, did you see the bracelet I made this weekend? And your friend could say, yeah, that's kind of cool. Or maybe they're like, yeah, all right. And then you can say, hey, can I tell you what my bracelet's about? And that's all it takes. And if they say, eh, I'm not so sure, say, well, I made it at church and I learned about, we talked about how we can tell our friends about who Jesus is. And he's really important to me, so I'd love to be able to tell you um, why he's important to me and then be able to share with you um, how he could be important to you too. If they just automatically say, yeah, sure, tell me about your bracelet, then you're in and you're ready to start talking. So um, what we're going to do is I have a kit for the bracelet. And um, if you would like the bracelet kit, then just have a parent contact me and I will get you a kit. But um, I'm going to talk through my bracelet, like I said, and kind of talk through what the different colors mean. So if you'll notice, there's a yellow bead. Now, the yellow bead is really important because it starts us off with who God is. And we're going to tell our friends that God is perfect. And what does it mean to be perfect? It means to be without sin. And you can tell them with your handy dandy little cheat sheet that we're going to give you. Um, that God is perfect, right? And it's there's a verse that goes with it. It's Matthew 5, 48. It says, be perfect, therefore as your heavenly Father is perfect. Now there's a lot more verses than just that in the Bible that talk about God being perfect, but that's a great one to remember. And if you're going, I don't know if I'll remember it, well, that's why we're giving you this paper and you can keep it in your backpack or um, in your car or wherever, but it's laminated so that it won't get all smashed and wrinkled and whatever. So we always want to start with that God is perfect um, because that helps us to see kind of how we measure up because the black bead is about how we sinned. And remember, we've talked a lot about what sin is. Sin is anything you think, anything you say, anything you do, or anything that you don't do that displeases God. So we've talked about what sin is. But just knowing what it is might be um, just the first step. Right? Because the important thing to remember about sin is that it broke our relationship with God, right? It had a big consequence. And remember Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we can talk to our friends about, you know, I realize that I lie a lot. Or I realize that I was really mean to my friends. And so that's a great way that you can relate sin um, into your normal everyday life. So that's the yellow, that God is perfect, then we sin, then God provided. So this is John 3, 16, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And so you can talk to them about, um, it's red, and the red is for the blood of Christ, right? Because Jesus actually sacrificed himself for us on the cross. And so you know the story of what Easter is, and you can share that with them. And then the, the white is for Jesus gives, right? And Romans 5, 8 says, But God proved his own love for us in this way, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 
And so we have the opportunity to be made right with God. And so there's where Jesus paid for the sins and, and the white represents um, that our sins are made clean through Jesus' sacrifice, right? That he, um, through his sacrifice, we can be made holy and our relationship with God can be made right. So then we have the, the time that we can respond, right? So the blue is where we respond and it's Romans 10, 9 and 10, right? If we confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, right? So um, we can talk to our friend about how you've made that choice, right? You can say, hey, can I tell you about the time um, that I asked Jesus to be my savior and I asked him to be my boss? And that's how um, I know that I made right with him. And then the green is for we grow, right? After we ask Jesus to be our savior, after um, we confessed our sins to him, then we want to grow in our relationship with him, right? We talk a lot about that, about how um, it's just like with a best friend, you wanna spend time with them. And so we wanna spend time with Jesus and we wanna grow closer to Jesus and be more like him. So the verse for that, is 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and the new has come. And so you can talk to your friend about how you have been made new, how you're not the same. Now, that was a lot of information right there. And so your friend might be a little overwhelmed when you first bring this up. And it's okay to say, hey, you know what? Can I just give you one of the kits? I have a kit and I would love to just give it to you and then you can read through these verses um, and ask me questions. And guys, it's as simple as that. Um, there's a great, easy way to give your friend a tiny gift, right? A bracelet that they can make and then share the gospel with them. Now, one thing that kids um, can feel is sometimes we get nervous talking to a friend because we may not know the answers. And I think that that's perfectly all right because sometimes I don't know the answers and I have to go and look things up. And so it's okay to tell your friend, you know, I don't know the answer to that, but let me go ask my mom or my dad, or let me go ask my pastor, or let me go ask Miss Emily. And we would all love to help you get the answer to that question. So there's a simple way that you can share the gospel with someone else. Um, if your friend's like, whoa, that's a lot of information. Um, can I just not like hear the rest of the bracelet? That's okay too, because again, it's just being able to start a conversation with your friend and letting them know that Jesus is important to you. So again, if you guys would like um, some of these wordless bracelet kits, it's called a wordless bracelet because even though we say lots of words, there's not any actual words on the bracelet, right? It's just the colors that remind us of what the words are. But if you would like one of those kits, um, email me, call me, and I will connect you guys with a kit. Um, I look forward to sharing other ways that you can share the gospel with others um, in the coming weeks. So I'll see you later.